Hello everyone out there. So I am Shravan and today I am here with the another exciting video about customizing the fillers. So uh, why why we want to customize the fillers? So there is a need behind is that we want to apply a uh, edge band on one of the long edges of the filler and which is done on a separate machine that need at least 65 minimum width of a part so that that machine can hold that part and manually that edge bending can be applied therefore we want fillers to be cut minimum 65 width uh, of the part so that part should have a minimum 65 or longer than that no problem then we can easily uh, hand that machine can handle that part and apply the edge bendings and after applying the edge band on that part uh, which is just cut by CNC uh, 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 applying edge band on one of the edges then uh, if you want to further reduce the width of that part as per the requirement while installations we can manually reduce the width by machines uh, uh, of, from the another edge so without further ado let's just get started with the video so just let's uh, quickly draw some walls here in this room Let's let's make it two thousand. Okay, so now I have a wall. So I will navigate to products and from my library make it up to the wall towards right and have it as a Nine fifty. So and have this one as a nine fifty two. Oh, so this is placed on this wall. That's why it was not showing. So let's, again, I'll show you. Okay, I have this cabinet placed on the wall too. Just click, right click it, copy it and paste here so and just have it zero here so now we can if we click both cabinets which are on the same wall then we can equalize the widths see here with now we are getting the option to equalize the widths uh, before that when i started to place this uh, it was not there because one cabinet is on the wall one and another was on the wall two but now it is giving me the option in right click to equalize the width so let's equalize it so see it has equalized and we can also have uh, no so let's make it in 950 and this one also 950 okay and let's have its clearance 50 from left and this clearance 50 from right okay now we have these two cabinets placed uh this we will see it's 3d okay so now uh we'll have a filler here so let's brush with the doors let's drag this base filler flush with the doors here again it's snapping to wall one so we should be very careful so let's make it from here wall two ah, okay and i again drag it to okay so now we have these two filler let's quickly check in 3d okay so these are snapped to the doors perfectly see okay align with the doors so now let's jump to the our uh, customizing the fillers when we click the fillers and go we check it that it has a width 50 okay so if you go in here in parts see here is a catch you see these two parts so the first part 
which is here uh, which is uh, with AT actually this part is to be cut by the CNC okay uh, the idea is that and this this uh, which is a display filler it is just to show in the multi prints okay because uh, why uh, fillers are made like that because see uh, we have uh, machines customized machines that can cut the fillers exactly at some uh, a minimum that has some minimum width to cut 65 60 onwards you can't cut uh, you know uh, 30 or something like that on on cnc if we try to cut uh, it may break if it is with is only 20 or 30 for that reason uh, uh, generally the fillers are cut uh, manually by some special machines and that too should have uh, such kind of a jigs and fixtures and that too should have uh, uh, 60 or 65 so we have machines that support 65 width so we need these actual fillers to be with 65 so we'll just edit it and make it from here just make it a uh, 65 okay or we can just right click and edit this formula and make it a uh, here 65 65 okay click okay so no so I should have again I can just go to edit and make it 65 65 update the formula I forgot to update that test now it's coming 65 okay so this filler will be actually cut on the CNC and after apply after cutting we will apply an edge bend on one long edge and then further uh, we can reduce the width by uh, uh, by cutting it uh, from another edge so because our machine supports that uh, for edge bending we need to have minimum it 65 and we can reduce that manually this width by hand machines okay and see here the graphic part here is off okay so uh, now if we jump to this filler this display filler so uh this is only for display right so uh, in multi prints uh, our, our drawing this is the only displayed so what we can do see we can see the its type is frame here right display filler so frame and type of this filler is uh, finished exterior so let's check what or uh, will this type of parts will be cut by our cnc or not for that we should go in library parts and then check uh, frame so frame here see here the check mark is off uh, by default in mosaic so frame won't be cut but we want frame to be cut right and the uh, finished exteriors if we go here in finished exterior panel this is checked for the cnc so what we will do we will switch this type of parts in the fillers we will select this filler go and we will go in parts so actually this part if we edit it we have frame this is going to be cut but we do not want it to be cut on the CNC so we will change its type to uh, finished exterior which was switched off in our that part uh, a library parts okay so I made it uh, finished exterior correct and okay and I will make it a frame type frame so uh, frame okay so now this 65 this part will be cut on the cnc and we have this display filler 50 only on to uh shown in the our drawings so save it okay so see 
it's 50 and if we check the elevation it's fine so uh, now if you want to make its width to 30 so if we just 30 see it has become 30 so still this we can show whatever the width we want for the fillers in our drawings but we want to cut it always as a 65 mm always on cnc because we have that kind of a machine so for this purpose i have done this okay so hope it clears that why when we drag a filler to mosaic we have these two parts one one is for cnc and one is for just to display in the multi prints so thank you guys thanks for watching take care i'll come back with a new videos soon if you like this video please subscribe press the bell icon to get the instant notifications of the upload i'll keep uploading trainings tutorials videos for the cat packages so keep watching stay tuned thank you